we have four expressions that we need to simplify. The first one is square root of 100. So square root of 100 should be a number that squares to 100. There are two such numbers, 10 and negative 10. The square root is defined to be the positive one. So square root of 100 is 10. The second one reads the opposite of square root of 100. Square root of 100 is still 10, so we're talking about the opposite of 10, which is negative 10. Now this is where it gets interesting. Square root of negative 100. Now both 10 and negative 10 square to plus 100. Therefore, there is no real number that squares to negative 100. So among the real numbers, the answer to this one is undefined. There is no real number that would square to a negative number. This last one would be the opposite of the square root of negative 100. That would be the opposite of something undefined. That is still undefined. One comment here. There is something going on because both 10 and negative 10 square to plus 100, the negative, negative numbers don't have square roots and there are two candidates for the, for the square root of a positive number where we always agree to pick the positive one as square root. So we have, we have more than one candidate here because there is no candidate here. So next up, we have similar expressions, but now we're talking about third root. So third root of 8 would be a number that when raised to the third power, we get 8. Clearly that is 2 because 2 to the third power is 8. So third root of 8 is 2. The second expression is the opposite of third root of 8. That would be the opposite of 2, that's negative 2. The next expression is third root of negative 8. And while square roots of negative numbers don't exist, third roots of negative numbers exist easily because negative 2 to the third power is negative 8. So there is a third root of negative 8 and it is negative 2. That's very different from, from how square roots behave. And then the last expression here is the opposite of third root of negative 8. That would be the opposite of negative 2, which is plus 2. Third roots are sort of nicer than square roots because positive numbers, when you raise them to the third power, you get positive. Negative numbers, when you raise them to the third power, you get negative. Therefore, every real number has a third root and there is always just one candidate. Um, there's a property of uniqueness going on here that we didn't have. Square root was kind of a mess. Uh, here we had two candidates because here we had no candidate.